hello everybody I thought I would come on here and chit chat a little bit because I am home alone it's Tuesday and that means Julio has a soccer game so we don't normally see each other on Tuesdays so I ate dinner by myself as you just saw and now I have some time to just chill catch up on any housework any work work and I don't know live life but I thought I would tell you guys something because it's kind of funny kind of ironic kind of sucks but I'm on this like whole sugar fast thing right and I go to crumble every week with one of my friends and we just started filming TikToks about crumble cookie taste tests and I'm like how am I supposed to go to crumble every week on a sugar fast like I don't want to stop the sugar fast and I don't want to not go to crumble so I don't know. I was talking to Julio about it, and he said that maybe I should just, like, literally taste of the cookie because it's probably going to be less than a gram of sugar, and then give the rest of the cookie to him so he can have it, and I was like, you know, I'll try that and see if it works, but if I tasted this sugar cookie through, like, cookie today, and it makes me, I don't know if I'm going today, but if I tasted this cookie, and it makes me want sugar, and I start having really bad sugar cravings, I'm probably gonna have to cancel crumble. I just got finished working out. I did a Chloe team workout and I haven't done one of those in a probably close to a year. I don't know, I haven't done one in like five months because I started doing them in January. Okay, so I am going to crumble today. So I will let you know how that goes. I hope it goes well. I hope that I can just take one small bite of the cookie to be able to rate it on a taste test and then not want to eat the rest of the cookie. I don't want it to count as cheating, but I feel like it might. But like I told myself that I would eat stuff that has less than two grams of sugar. And I think that one small bite of a cookie is gonna have less than two grams of sugar. I don't know. Well, you guys, here is the parts of the cookie that are left. I will not be eating these. That one, not good. Did not like that one. But I also don't like coconut and that's pina colada. So that one was good. It was very good. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I just got home from work and we are doing a kickball tournament at my work. And let me ask you a question. Who do you think is the teacher that tried the hardest? Is it embarrassing? No. And if you think that the front of me is bad with sweat stains, you should see my back. Well guys, I have made it to the end of the week. It's Friday and I'm so glad it's Friday. I just had a job interview and it wasn't a job interview. I just had an informal screening and it was very informal. I was impressed at the amount of informal that it was. So we'll see how that goes. But I am kind of tired of, <laughs> I don't even know what. I'm just, I'm tired of, no, I'm not tired of being on YouTube. I'm just tired of feeling like I always have to look nice to be on YouTube. Like, I always feel like I need to be dressed up and I need to talk a certain way and I need to sit a certain way and I need to feel a certain way because that's what I see everybody else doing and I have put off filming for the past two days because my hair wasn't down or my makeup wasn't done or like whatever the heck it was and I'm just so tired of doing that. Like if I'm going to document my journey of you know, getting healthy and getting back in shape and all that crap, then I can't be putting on a facade all the time because that's just not realistic and then I won't end up filming anything. And also I cut a lot of stuff out and that's not being real either. So I don't know if I should make my videos be longer and include more stuff or like, I don't, I don't freaking know guys. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But Anyways, I weighed in this week and I did it on camera, which it's not always gonna be on camera, but for this week it was. And I weighed 
194.6 so I'll put that somewhere on the screen I might overlay something if I'm you know really trying to be an overachiever here but last week I think I weighed 195.6 so that means that I like lost a pound and I did not expect that like I did not see that coming normally it doesn't happen and let me tell you guys I have had pizza I have had chips at 8.30 at night. I have had uh, chips and salsa, chips and sour cream. I have had whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, as long as there hasn't been sugar in it. I have not counted a single calorie this week. I am literally sitting on the couch right now watching YouTube. Well, not literally right now, but 10 minutes ago before I decided to film this video, I was sitting on the couch watching YouTube eating a bag of hot Cheetos because there's no sugar in hot Cheetos. That's all I'm saying. So am I eating healthy? Mm, not really. Am I not eating sugar? Yes. And I'm losing weight. Like I don't know what it is. I truly don't get it. But that's what keeps me from losing weight it's so weird like every time i count calories it doesn't do much i lose weight extremely slow if at all but as soon as i cut out sugar i start dropping pounds like nobody's business it's the weirdest thing so i would love to be out of the 190s by the end of the month but i really feel like that's pushing it we'll just have to see yeah you can tell i'm getting a I've, Guys, I've had two Mountain Dews today, and they were both large. Hey, Lil, you want to come be in the video? No, he's dead. He's um, he's a little bit sleepy over there. Also, I'm probably going to be filming a lot more clips from right here because I literally put the camera on the couch and then sat down in the floor. And that's just the easiest thing for me. I don't have to set anything up. Nothing. I took my measurements, and they haven't changed at all since August. In August, I was 10 pounds lighter. So I don't know if that means I've put on some muscle because I have been going to the gym and lifting. So I'm hoping that's what it is, which would be great if it is, because I don't really know what else it would be. But that was pretty exciting. I don't really think I have anything else to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. From this point on, I'm going to be extremely real and authentic and you are going to see a much different, less put together side of me than what you have been seeing. So that'll be interesting. Um, leave a comment if you want. I've learned that when you comment, YouTube pushes my video in the algorithm more. So commenting and liking really does help me out. It, it pushes this video to more people. So if you want to go ahead, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend because this is going to be uploaded tomorrow. Hashtag procrastination goals. Um, yeah, that's really all I got for you. I will see you in the next one. Bye.